Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the logs. Welcome back to Voice Logs. And welcome back to, or I'm hoping you're having a happy Friday. Welcome to Friday if you're listening to this on Friday. Uh, now this is going to be a shorter episode, not very long form, because I've had a quite busy week full of uh, exams and uh, just stuff and, and, and things. And also I'm trying to battle a cold that was caused by, I think it was a flu shot. You have to take a flu shot and then they maybe weaken my immune system and uh, and uh, cause the, the cold symptoms. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit today about how, uh, just a, like an update, sort of what's going on in the medical school arena because we haven't really been talking a lot about that aspect of life and things. We've been kind of doing more fun, freeform episodes. I do hope you enjoyed the episode that came out uh, Monday with um, with Peter. It was a cool sort of thing. We just kind of happened uh, randomly, and and it would be we'd be very interested to do more, and uh, hopefully involve more friends in the future. You know, I'm always interested in including my friends and and people um, and family in these episodes and uh, throughout. You know, the 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 different series that have appeared on the logs. So it was fun to do that with uh, with Peter, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm looking to introduce more uh, into voice logs because you know it, it's always going to change. Uh, voice logs is not going to th- stay the same because it's a free form sort of thing. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you had fun with it. It was very fun to make, um, and uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that again. <laughs> it's the uh, the tired brain saying the same thing over and over. It's an, ad, it's an ad nauseum. There's a good word for you. That could be your word of the day. Um, so, in terms of what's going on with school, I did this past uh, Saturday um, get my uh, white coat, my white lab coat for um, you know, the, the, in the white coat ceremony. During the white coat ceremony, we, we were... Um, coded by uh by doctors uh, it's just a ceremonial thing to kind of show it's like your first step into the uh, medical school arena into uh healthcare. so it was really cool it was a really nice ceremony very efficient ceremony <laughs> it went by very very quickly so uh, i'm all for that you know the long form speeches are you know they're nice but after a little bit they get a little bit t- they get a little you know a little tiring so the uh the ceremony was great and um it was interesting you know i had that uh, we got the white coat way before i think a couple of weeks before the actual ceremony we just went and picked it up and and it was sitting i had it hanging in my room and it was kind of weird it felt like because it was mine like i've worn lab coats before i've worn my uh lab coats from you know my dad and lab coats in like an anatomy lab and stuff like that in the, in undergrad but um, a white coat that was like mine. It has my name tag and it has the seal of my school. It was kind of weird. Like I didn't want to try it on <laughs> those first couple of weeks until the ceremony. So it could kind of make it official at least that, you know, it was presented to me. Um, because it, it felt kind of like heavy, you know, not in, in, you know, not physically, but putting it on, it seems like it's just a lot of responsibility because you do have, you know, you have the seal of the school, so you're representing the school, you're representing the the, the medical program, you're representing the students that came before, and the doctors that were one students and everything, and um, it says on the name tag, it's a student doctor, and you're representing yourself, and it's weird, it, it seems like, you know, you're, you're jumping into this, um, and you know, it's only been eight, uh, now nine weeks of... Um, of, of uh, medical school so you know I don't know everything and nobody ever knows everything even the graduates even real doctors now operating and practicing they don't know all the answers to everything and putting that on putting on that white coat it seemed like it's a huge step and it's something that you have to kind of get over it's like this sort of speed bump and not necessarily a speed bump but like there's just this hump I guess you can say to show yourself and tell yourself that you know what this is serious now not that you weren't taking it seriously again but that like this is this is 
a huge step. Like this is what you're doing. This is where you are. You you are doing. You're in healthcare now. You're expected to be a professional, and and behave professionally and and undergo the science and the art of medicine. So it's a huge thing, and and uh, and I think just generally in terms of because and I'm only speaking to doctor um, the medical profession now, but I'm sure it's true in in other professions. But uh, when you when you go into medicine and you become a doctor, say you know, and just in terms of my um, sort of path, it's it, it is a lifelong sort of journey. You're you're never gonna not be a doctor even on your off days you know you're always growing and you're always learning it is a practice in and of itself it's just that that's what it is it's a practice you're learning constantly you know even doctors now that are 60 70 years old they're still learning and they're still growing and they're they they enjoy the the practice of medicine not just the just general day-to-day medicine but practicing and learning more and and understanding what this thing that we all have this thing called the human body and the things that fight us uh, the diseases and things that we have to overcome so it's really cool it seems like that white coat putting that on you carry all that baggage and it's a lot it's a lot to think about Especially when you're also thinking about passing these next exams and, you know, quizzes and whatever and getting through the next week to think about a day where that white coat means a lot, a lot to a lot of people, people in pain and people that are suffering. And it's, it's, uh, it's a huge thing. And it was just kind of like a weird sort of pause moment in the midst of all this busy stuff, you know, with the classes and things like that. It was nice to... Kind of say, take a Saturday and uh, just kind of take the morning and, and just realize what this is all about and pre- be presented that white coat, be presented with, you know, your the seal, you know, on the, your shoulder, be presented with your name and kind of take that next step. And it's interesting too, a lot of schools... Uh, when they do their white coat ceremonies, they do it near the beginning of the of the um, of the semester, the term or semester before they start. Maybe just after uh, orientation week. But we've done it. We did our our ceremony this past week, eight weeks into the the term. Uh, that's more than halfway done with the term. The term is um, uh, fourteen weeks, and I think it um, doing it so late, it it kind of. It helps. Uh, I think it's cool uh, because, for one, you're just learning the people that you're around. You're making friends, so you can take uh, cool pictures with your friends and stuff like that. You, it actually means a little bit more when you're hanging around your friends, getting, uh, and everybody's getting their white coat together. Um, and then on the other hand, I think the bigger thing is that you're kind of. It seems like you're you're earning it just a tad more. Than just being handed it since you've got you've gotten in because getting in is only one part of it. Getting through is the next huge hurdle, and just kind of showing that you know what you're taking your first steps and you're kind of even the little that we've done now these eight weeks, which doesn't <laughs> looking back doesn't seem very little, but also has gone by very quickly. Um, it's cool to have it to have it at that point in time and to say you know what you've made it this far this is what medical school is this is what the job is Uh, and now here's the coat that's going to represent all of that so it's very cool um very cool idea and uh i don't know why i keep saying cool (laughs) it's like the first episode uh you know maybe that'll be the title of this episode it's a very cool idea um so yeah, that was that was a Saturday, and then uh, just battling the uh, the sickness uh, from the flu shot, and uh, just trying trying to study for more biochemistry. Uh, this past exam uh, on Tuesday, so it was a lot. It was a lot, and and I think it just kind of shows, especially talking about the idea of uh, school and medical school and what it what it embodies. It it is really 
just somebody beating you down. If you could just create a scenario uh, that just shows like a, an analogy for what medical school is, it, it is somebody just beating you down and you have to get back up. And only the ones that really, you know, they, they want to do it, want to push forward. I think those are the people that are going to get back up. And I think it, in a way it's a good thing that it's run in that way. I was talking with a friend about if there's any way you can teach medicine in a different sort of way. Uh, I don't know in what way, but a more maybe a more non-traditional method like the one we're doing now. And I don't think there there really is, at least right now. It's it has it's something that's going to take years to to learn, because there's a lot to it, and there's a lot that we don't even know. It's just a lot that comes with intuition, and it takes a long time to build intuition and to be to find your normal, and then recognize states that are abnormal and what's causing them. Because that, that coat, that white coat, is representing that knowledge. So it's, it, it, it is, it is intense. And it is somebody beating you down. And you have to get back up. Uh, and that's, that's what it is. And so if anybody is interested, and if anybody listening is interested in something like this, some like a, approaching the medical profession, approaching healthcare. That's what it is. And I think you just have to come to that realization now and understand that just so you're not shocked when you enter school, med medical school, dental school, whatever, health professional school. And it's not even true just for that. It's really more just general graduate programs that once you go past your undergraduate once you do a graduate or even a professional doctorate program it's not easy you're you're going towards this super specific goal and there are a lot of people that are doing it at the same time and and the classes the coursework the edu the education required to get there is hyper intense but if you enjoy it, you'll do it that's just general for anything. If you enjoy it and you want it enough, it's going to come. So it, there, it is a matter of just wanting it enough and, and enjoying what you do. Uh, so that's, if you can take anything from this episode, say, you know, you're not going into the medical field. Just take that advice. Uh, because if you are going and you're trying to pursue something in life, whatever it is, I'm not saying just specifically for school, um, if you're, if you want to do, uh, and pursue higher education, you could do that. If you want to pursue, uh, work in business or whatever it is, whatever it is, technical school, whatever, if you want to pursue something, you have to enjoy what you're doing, uh, because the work will eventually get to you and there's going to be weeks where you're feeling sick and you're feeling tired and you just want to sit in bed, but you got to get yourself up. You got to get yourself up at five in the morning so you can go take a 7am exam with the sniffles, with a little bit of a sore throat, and just do it. And that's what it is. Uh, that's life, because, you know, you're always battling something, be that sickness or uh, anything, the world. Uh, you have to be a fighter, because things are knocking you down. Things are always going to be knocking you down, but as long as you get back up, you're thriving. So... Thank you for listening to this episode of The Logs. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but I hope it packed a good amount of meaning. And please go and follow The Logs anywhere you listen to podcasts. You can go Apple Music, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Spreaker, Podbean. Oh, not Spreaker, sorry. Podbean. <laughs> you can go anywhere uh, and find your po find The Logs podcast. You can go and follow all our social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can go and listen to our uh, videos on YouTube. I'm sorry that um, I need to just make this note. Not all videos will be available on YouTube. It is uh, based on the hosting service, putting that video on. 
Uh, so videos are guaranteed on these podcast services like Spotify, uh, Apple Music, uh, or um, Apple Podcasts. Sometimes on YouTube that uploading may or may not work, so I'm sorry about that. It's just the way it is with the back end here. Um, but I hope that you enjoy. Please subscribe. There are many episodes that get, get up there, and you can go and click and have a subs- uh, transcription of the episode uh, so you can read along if you want to read along. Uh, so And then go. Go and uh, grab your, your merch from the store. We've been kind of shifting the store and kind of uh, putting in some new sort of classic designs or, uh, that you can wear anywhere. And <laughs> uh, so the, it's it's a cool sort of transition with the logs kind of following the voice logs idea. Something more freeform, something that can come with you anywhere. So I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you keep enjoying the logs, voice logs and everything that comes with it. Um, have a great, great day. Keep on smiling. Keep on laughing. We'll catch you in the next one.